Okay, friends. Now we will see the uh, chapter 8.2.3. Okay. Now thermal expansion of solids, liquids, and gases. Thermal expansion is the tendency of the matter to change in shape, area, volume due to the change in temperature. Okay. The three states of the matter, solid, liquid, and gases, expand and heated. Okay. This is known to everybody. All solids liquids and the gases okay expand when heated when solid is heated the atoms vibrate with higher amplitude about fixed points the relative change in, uh, in, the, in the size of solids is small the railway tracks are given small gap in the summer so that the tracks expand and do not buckle railroads tracks and bridges have expansion joints allow, uh, joints to allow them to expand and contract freely with temperature changes it is given in the diagram so you may see this small gap what they are talking about this small gap they are talking this small gap so this gap is given okay because in during summer season the temperature which is normally around 28 to 30 degrees celsius uh, increases to 20, uh, 48 to 50 degrees celsius so what happens this expansion takes place when the heat increases on the steel uh, uh, steel bars uh, normally the expansion takes place when the expansion takes place it needed some kind of a space okay so that the, the this uh, steel does not buckle so uh, they have given this space that is the reason they have given this space liquids have less intermolecular forces than solids yes it's very clear so we, uh, we all know solids are uh, the molecules are very tightly packed so and uh, liquids are less tightly packed okay less tightly packed okay and hence they expand more than solids this principle, this is the principle behind the mercury thermometers. In the case of gas molecules, the intermolecular forces are almost negligible and hence they expand much more than solids. For example, hot air balloons and gas particles get heated, they expand and take up more space. The molecules are packed but not so tightly as in solid, uh, as in solids. Whereas in gases, it is almost negligible. The pack, uh, packaging or intermolecular attraction, intermolecular attraction forces are negligible. The question may come as, why hot air, air in uh, balloons, airs are used? So the answer is, the, the ability of the air to expand is very high compared to other uh, particles. Not only that, they expand and take up more space, okay, and they are very lighter. So that is the reason the air is used, okay, hot air is used in balloons for, so that it will fly higher, okay. The increase in the dimension of a body due to increase in its temperature is called thermal expansion. This expansion in length is called the linear expansion. The expansion of the area is called area expansion. And the expansion in the volume is called volume expansion. They have uh, this small, uh, they have this bar. So this is heated. So this increases from this the this area this length to this length. So this increase in length, okay, happens due to the addition of heat. So we have this area. This area is heated, and this area increases. Uh, to this area okay so this increase in area is due to thermal expansion similarly when we take this is for two dimensional objects for three dimensional objects like uh, okay for three dimensional objects we call it as a volume now for volume we heat it so this increases from this here to here okay this dotted lines till this area it is get increased first we will see one by one in linear expansion in solids for a small change in temperature del t the fractional change in length okay say for example the temperature is increased from 28 from 28 to say for example 38 okay for example the temperature is increases from 28 to 38 then if suppose if the length of the bar is say for example 10 centimeter that uh, the length may increase to 12 centimeter okay they, so for a small change in temperature from 28 to 30, uh, 38 degree 38 degree celsius the change in length will be 10 centimeter 12 centimeter okay this is just an example okay i'm just giving it so they have just represented this change in length what is del l del l is change in length l is original length change in length by original length this is change in length this is change in length del means change in length divided by just l means 
original length original length alpha l alpha l is a coefficient of linear expansion and del t now uh, if we ask to find the coefficient of linear expansion then we have to take the uh, t in the other, other side we, uh, this t on the numerator comes down and it comes del l by l into del t okay when the lid of a glass bottle is tight keep the lid ne near the hot water which makes it easier to open this is because the lid has a higher thermal expansion than glass so normally we we we, have, we, have, we must have experienced we have a glass bottle okay we have a bottle uh, and we have st a steel bottle or something where we are unable to open the lid okay it will be very tight normally we ask the help of a very strong person to open the lid okay so in those cases uh, instead of asking looking for a very strong person to open the lid we can just keep it or heat it okay uh, we give us once the, uh, we give a small heat the this uh, okay this lid okay this lid will slightly expand this lid will slightly expand once it expands we will be able to open it comparatively easier than the previous situation okay so that is why they have given us when the lid of a glass bottle is tight keep the lid near the hot water okay hot water which makes it easier to open now again when the hard boiled egg is dropped in cold water the egg shells can be removed easily this is because of different thermal expansion of shell and egg okay see when a hard body is heated it expands when a hard body is cooled suddenly what happens it contracts so this outer shell okay this outer shell when it is cooled suddenly when it is cooled this outer shell when it is cooled suddenly it contracts when it contracts what happen the um, the outer shell breaks uh, into small small pieces and uh, we will be able to take away this outer shell easily okay this happens mainly because of contraction when a uh, so, so hot object is put suddenly in the cold contraction takes place now we will see an example an eiffel tower is made up of iron and its height is roughly 300 meters so what's the eiffel tower it is okay this is the tower okay this is just like a, a electric tower okay like we have seen a lot of electric tower this is a eiffel tower which is in france okay eiffel tower is made up of iron and its height is roughly 300 meters during winter season in january in france the temperature is 2 degrees celsius and in hot summers average temperature is 25 degrees celsius calculate the change in height of eiffel tower between summer and winter the linear thermal expansion coefficient for iron is 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 per degree celsius now <coughs> see here we have seen this uh, uh, see formula del l by l is equal to alpha l del t this del l is the change in length what is what is the question they have asked what is the change in length when summer comes summer comes normally the expansion takes place the question is how much of expansion has taken uh, takes place during summer compared to winter is the question now change in length by original length okay change in length by original length is equal to alpha coefficient of thermal expansion into the temperature change now what is that we have to find out del l we have to find out del l is equal to now this l goes on the right hand side now alpha l is the coefficient of thermal expansion they are given 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 per degree celsius okay remember per degree celsius 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 per degree celsius so we are writing 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 then what is the length 300 meters they have given then what is the temperature 23 degrees celsius for 1 degree celsius it is 10 10 and 10 to the power minus 6 for 23 degrees celsius so we are going to multiply it when when you multiply it it comes as 0 0.69 meter we are writing it in terms of centimeters so we are uh, multiplying it by 100 because 1 meter is equal to how many centimeter 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter okay correct 
वन मीटर इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर सो वी आर मल्टीप्लाइंग इट इन ऑर्डर टू कन्वर्ट इट सेंटीमीटर नाउ द आंसर इज द ईफुल टवर गेट्स एक्सपैंडेड बै सिक्सटी नईन सेंटीमीटर इन कंपेरीसन टू द कोल सीसन ओके इन समर सीसन द ईफुल टवर गेट्स एक्सपैंडेड बै सिक्सटी सेवन सेंटीमीटर सिक्सटी सारी सिक्सटी नईन सेंटीमीटर इन कंपेरीसन टू द कोल सीसन दट इज द आंसर ओके फ्रेंड्स ई हॉप यू मस्ट अंडरस्टूड दिस दोस नॉट सब्सक्रेब कैंडली सब्सक्रेब अंड शेर इट इफ यू हेव एनी डाउट्स प्लीज रईट इट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन फ्रेंड्स